Nope, it's been quiet so far. Okay, well, I guess we can get going. So, uh, the let's see the the viewer rundown. Um, we released the Love Me Render viewer, uh, which was a whole bunch of rendering fixes, uh, which was pretty cool, um, and it's uh, it's doing just fine in release. Uh, so you should see a whole series of updates of all the project viewers and the next maintenance viewer um, shortly as they all merge those changes. Uh, well, there's lots of stuff in the release notes. Um, it, was, it was a pretty big collection. Um, some of them had been hanging around for a long, long time. Um, and we have, uh, we got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Of course, we've got um, project viewers for Bakes on Mesh uh, and Animesh. Um, and we still have a 360 snapshot viewer, although that's not getting any love right at the moment. Um, we will probably try to update that to the latest code base. Um, and there's a new maintenance viewer that's the Palenka, or <clears throat> however you pronounce it, um, that's got a whole bunch of fixes in it. And um, those are all good. Uh, we should pretty soon have a bunch of um, a new viewer out that improves um, some estate management tools. Uh, and the server for that is is out in RC now, so it'll we'll be able to get the viewer out very soon. Um, still a couple of things to do on that, but it's coming. Um, easier to manage ban lists and all that stuff. So be very cool. Uh, and I think that's. I think that's sort of where we are in the process. Uh, the floor is open. Uh, the yeah we we haven't gotten around to merging all the contributions for that yet but we're we're gonna do that um, very likely we will we will incorporate those changes in our experimental viewers for in the viewers for experimenting with new ways of calculating arc. Um, and we've been taking a lot of measurements for that. Um, and uh, we're, we're homing in on better formulas. Uh, but there's lots of 
lots of stuff to be done. That's going to be a long, slow rollout um, because we, we have to be careful not to mess up uh, existing content. Um, there's, there's also, uh, on the graphics front, there's also a revamp of the texture cache that we're, that we're working on that we think will make things perform better, which is, which is, uh, which is good. Um, let's see, the camera UI, we've been waiting, for, that's been kind of stuck on getting a couple of new controls implemented um, for manipulating the, the camera positions, uh, but it is still a thing, we're going to we're gonna get to it. Um, that got in line behind some of the environment changes because they needed new controls too, so, uh, but we're, we're pulling it together. Um, and uh, I don't know about nearing release, but um, I mean, it's, we're definitely not going to lose track of it. It's, it's on the active project list. Um, object to object occlusion. Uh, your, that, that question is, is not one I'm really qualified to answer. Even aside from the fact that it's kind of an open-ended question. Uh, it is our hope that we can fold the VRAM changes into the texture cache. The problem we have with the VRAM changes is that we found that uh, there are a lot of systems out there that lie about how much VRAM there is, and you can get yourself into deep trouble if you think there's more than there really is. Uh, and, and so we, we, can, we can actually make things a, a lot worse. Um, and unfortunately, it is not we have not found it to be a workable solution to say uh, we're going to provide the user a way to set it and assume that they will set it correctly for their system. That doesn't tend to work. So um, we, we, the other thing we're going to do in the texture caching viewer is we're going to uh, make the, the uh, maximum cache size much, much bigger. So you'll you'll have the option of um, letting your disk get filled up with cash. If that's the best use you have for your disk, then so be it. Yeah, I, I don't know how other games handle this. Most games don't handle nearly as wide a range of video cards as we claim to and try to.
we actually do have a different sort of problem. Uh, coffee. I, I sort of vaguely recall that from the triage. Let me go back and do. You, uh, Yeah, I think we just decided that that was that there wasn't there wasn't a, a sufficient case for allowing that change. Yeah, no, we haven't done any work on any of that. Right, you you mostly know what we're working on. <laughs> I I I uh it's it's uh, you know, right now we're spending a a very substantial fraction of our effort on getting things ready to or moving them over to the cloud. Um and we've got the big projects you know about, name changes, um, environment enhancements, Animesh, Bakes on Mesh, uh, and um, and 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 fixing bugs. Um, there, there isn't. <laughs> 
we, we, we're, we're actually not doing, a, we're doing a bunch of work that's boring to talk about on the cloud thing, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just taking up time and bandwidth. Um, Uh, well, all, all I can suggest, Coffee, is that maybe you should find ways to get better neighbors. Um, I, don't, I don't mean to, yeah, I mean, part of, part of what makes Second Life Second Life is that you have neighbors. Right, and that's actually a good thing. And we don't want to, we don't want to make changes that encourage everyone to make lots and lots of little uh, isolated spaces that don't have a relationship with the spaces around them. Um, Yeah, well, we're trying to find ways to put constraints on things that have have bad effects on everybody, um, and that includes improving uh, improving the way we manage rendering and improving um, constraints on the way scripts work. Uh, you know, we find ways of throttling or limiting uh, scripts that have abusive effects. Uh, if you have if you have examples of of scripted abusive effects that you think you can make suggestions for how we can make them less abusive uh, that's we're always happy to hear that yeah I mean I have a quiet non laggy home in the real world that I don't have nearby neighbors, and I really like that. So I appreciate the I appreciate the the distinction, but um, that's not the product we're building. Of course, unless of course you can afford enough land that you can keep them away. Um, we are exp crash reporting. We are experimenting. We have an experimental branch where we are doing. Uh, we're going to take out our existing bug, uh, brake pad based crash reporting and replace it with the, uh, a commercial product called Bug Splat. Um, if that works out well, we'll probably switch to doing all our, bug, our crash reporting through them. Um, and uh, Uh, how does that affect TPVs then? You probably won't want to merge that change if you're taking advantage of the existing crash reporting code. You'll want to, it is commercial. Um, I mean, if you want to, if you want to inherit that code and, and change the parameters so that you're using your own subscription to their service, then you're more than welcome to do that. Um, it, it does cost money. Um, if you don't want to do that, you may want to either um, do that merge very carefully so that you retain the the uh, existing brake pad code, or um, uh, investigate some alternative. Um, part of why that project got started is that there was a claim that brake pad was not going to be maintained anymore. It does seem that some people are are picking it up, but that's not our big motivation. Our big motivation is that we have to maintain a large uh, and and non-trivial system for analyzing them on the back end and, and displaying them and allowing us to search and do comparisons and so forth. And it's uh, my, 
my my hypothesis to be tested is is that somebody who's made a business out of that can do a better job of it than we've been doing internally as a as a non-revenue generating activity. So um, if we can uh, if we can get better analysis of our bugs by using a commercial service that is reasonably priced, then that's a win for everybody. So uh, that's that is a a proposition to be tested. Um, so I hope to get that test started sometime in June. Um, I th uh, so we'll see. They they do have they do have a free plan I think for um, you can only have one user and uh, you have a pretty low limit on the number of crashes that you can you can upload um, we have we have it, we need more users than that and we have a lot more crashes that get uploaded so uh profiles is probably not something we're going to spend a lot of um, stuff on time on in the viewer anytime soon. Um, group interfaces we would we would certainly like to improve dramatically. There's some back-end work that needs to happen for that that probably won't until after that is probably won't happen until after we've finished the cloud migration project. Um, so we'll see. Um, we have have actually started putting some stuff up in the cloud and it's so far it's going well cautiously yeah the 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 the, the successor project to breakpad is called crashpad kitty you might want to look at that Yeah, it's bugsplat.com. Yeah, 2,000 crashes a year is a very small number. I don't know whether they have a facility for um, 
for uh, you know, doing some kind of random sampling. I know that some crash recording systems do that. Only, only record one in ten or something. I'm I'm often amazed when I see a a user with a, a, a new crash, and I'll look and I'll see the same user crash thirty times in a row in a couple of hours in exactly the same place. They're obviously going back and trying to do the same thing that caused them to crash the last time. And, you know, I can see doing that once, maybe twice, beyond that, you know. But 20 or 25 is not unusual. Uh, needless to say, that's not a super high priority activity. It's it's been getting some attention, but it, we're, it's not. It keeps getting interrupted. Uh, the 360 snapshots um, didn't fall off the radar. They just got pushed down in priority a little bit. Um, partly because uh, we were waiting for upload interfaces to be implemented for place pages that uh, to support directly uploading your your pictures to place pages. And partly because we needed Callum to go do something else, um, so uh, it's it's a it, it we are definitely not forgetting about it. We're we're keeping the code up to date, and we will get back to to fixing it. Um, the the new auction system is going to run off of Place Pages, and we decided that we wanted to put all our effort into that rather than um, rather than enhancing the photo upload interfaces for place pages so we'll we'll get back to it but uh it's going to take a little bit of time um, there are also some graphics challenges to still be to, to be solved um, again it's a question of how well we can do what we need to do on a very very wide range of um, video capability of graphics capability on the servers and when what you're talking about is images that are 4,000 pixels across or whatever is the thing it's makes a big difference whether you've got high-end graphics or low-end graphics um, so yeah we're not forgetting about that one it's a really good one we we really want it to work um, work well uh, so the auction system is coming along real nicely we should see first uses of it um, Again, sometime this 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 month.
Yes, that's a major feature of the new auction system. Although initially we'll use it just for Linden created auctions so that if there are any problems with it, we'll, we'll be the ones discovering them and, and mostly suffering from them. But uh, um, then once, once we're confident, uh, you know, once we've used it enough times that we're confident that it's uh, solid enough, uh, we will enable the ability for any user, any user who, own, who owns a parcel, to be able to uh, to create an auction to sell that parcel, which is pretty cool. I think that'll be fun. It's a little bit of a problem for Lindens because Lindens aren't allowed to use auctions, so we'll have to find ways to buy land uh, that aren't auctions. So if, if all the land market moves to auctions, then we're going to be in a problem. We're going to have a problem. I've been thinking I should take my alt and go land shopping before the new auction system comes. So if you're if you're thinking of auctioning some land, you, you want to create a place page for it and get it all ready because that's where the the auction will be. Good luck with that coffee. Uh, I, I've never been asked about, about that. Um, I, I, I'm not aware of any policy on it. I, I do know that our, that we are subject to the same constraints on our alts that we are on our Linden avatars, basically. We're not allowed to be, you know, alt griefers. That's, that's actually, that would actually be a pretty serious thing, for example. We're, we're supposed to be the good guys, and fortunately we actually are.
Anything else? Or do we all get to start our weekend that much earlier? Uh, I don't have any particular news. If, if people are interested in uh, any of the stuff that's going on with Bakes on Mesh or Animesh, uh, I'm happy to talk about it. But uh, you know, that's all still some distance away from actually needing to be pulled into uh, you know the default viewer. Yeah, we're we're the avatar banks are not going to support materials. Um, not anytime soon. Uh, okay, hearing no new topics. Thanks, everybody. See you in two weeks.